Hey guys, so we are getting ready to go shopping at Target. I don't know what we're gonna get. Um, I know Josh needs socks. We already got, like, if you saw my back to school haul with the kids, they are try and they tried it on, then you will see that they have all their clothes, but he needs some, like, socks. Mia needs some socks and chones. And then, um, oh, Josh's birthday. <laughs> is in a few days and so oh I am not buying a GoPro girl if you're crazy grandpa has a oh okay yeah. if grandpa has his girl GoPro we'll take it to the water park yeah. anyways um, I forgot my my vlogging camera but I have my phone and so we are going to get some stuff from Target like I said and we're also gonna get something for Josh if they have it because his birthday is coming up <laughs> Oh look, there's a happy birthday banner, my mom's birthday. I'm gonna get these. Oh, that's a cute one. But I really like my happy place one. Yeah, I like the flamingo one better. Our dollar spot, our bullseye spot is always a hot mess here. But here's all the back to school stuff. It doesn't have any better. It must have died. Must have died. Up. And it's a hashtag sign. Hashtag, hashtag winning. Hashtag not winning. Oh, look, they have alphabet stamps. Those are cute. Look at these. It's a stamp. Is that a stamp? Oh, that's cute. Oh, they just told Josh. Or I said it's about Josh because it's his birthday. This in a couple of days. So I said, Mia, let's go. And I go, besides, he's my favorite because we're going to get something for him. But it's just joking. And Mia, what did you say? Dad and Katrina is my favorite. My name is Jeff. <laughs> I'm That's... Dad and Katrina's favorite. Yeah, she just like clapped back right away and was like... <laughs> and it's true. She's like, well, I'm Dad's favorite. It's and not Katrina. true. Katrina doesn't have a favorite. She doesn't have a favorite. It's me. Yes, she does. Oh! <laughs> Katrina, <laughs> she put you on blast. She's these right here. They're called no-show, so like, look, right now I have no-show socks on, so you don't see them. Mm -hmm. Do you think you, do you think you want no-show socks? Mm -hmm. Like, that's what everybody's wearing right now. No one wants to see your socks. Oh. Unless you wear the socks that come all the way up to, like, your calf. Like, soccer and socks. Okay, then I guess I'll get some no-shows. <laughs> okay. That problem is solved. In reality, it's showing your ankle, so it's showing something. <laughs> it's just, just the little abomination. <laughs> He's so cute until he like grows. Until he becomes a baby demogorgon thing. <laughs> it's all fun until he becomes a demogorgon. Oh look! Oh look at these squad. That's so cute. I feel like I need these. Okay, then get them. Oh, that's right. He took one for the team, right? Yeah. And he was the, he was the new husband. <gasps> That's right. All right, let's go. Do you see anything else here on clearance? Those hamburger socks are he pretty. He was also the one that. Awesome. So uh, now we are getting Josh's school supplies. Yes. He's gonna be a sophomore. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. It's. Everything's um, still nice and organized. Mia's school is actually giving her her supplies this year, which is pretty cool. We just had to sign up for it. I got recommended or whatever. I don't need to get. Is it coming up? Huh? Is your list coming up? Yeah, it's just loading. Okay. Oh, okay. I got no message. Oh, you're so cool. Say it again. Pins are pins. That's right. So we're getting, <laughs> we're getting what's on sale. So those are 99 cents. Okay, what color pins? Black pins, right? Yeah. Blue pins. Not okay. What are they telling you to have? Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing if we need blue pins. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, blue pins? No, it's a choice. You either pick blue or black. Which one do you want? Black. Okay. Like your soul. <laughs> oh, um, it's funny. Ooh, do they have erasable pins, though? Because did you like those? when I, I got them last year. I like erasable pins. I don't think I ever used them. Oh, wow. Look, these pencils, man. 
No, you can, you got erasable pens, but you never. Wait, I never let you use them. Yeah. Oh well, here. Look at this pen. So it's erasable. Want erasable pens? Sure. Okay, we'll get some erasable pens. I like these. Eraser. I don't like to. Oh, those are cute. They're yeah, exactly. Pens. Yeah, you got them. You said I like these. They're for me. Don't touch. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Well, I got you a pack, and I got me a pack. One, the regular ones. The regular ones, number two. Mom, when I was on YouTube yesterday, mm -hmm. and an uh, advertisement came up, and it was for color glue, but it, gl but it glows in the dark. Oh wow! And they showed you what slime, and they put in the slime. This is three ninety nine. And the ad, and uh, they turned off the lights, and the slime was glowing. That's cool. That's what we did. We had the no, paint school on stuff, it. and then. They end up taking all the stuff, okay? That's fine, baby. <laughs> they, it takes a lot to I teach you guys. Like this so I don't mind getting all that for the teachers. Yeah, I know, but it, um, they want to um, take all of this. They won't take all that? No, they took all of this once, remember? Oh, yeah. But then they give it back. But this is what you need, right? This is what the school needs. That's what Extras the school needs. For, Oh, that's if you want to be. No, yeah. it says to divide. To be divided among high school classrooms. Yeah. Just, yeah. We're going to grab it. Hey, do you like I this one, sure Mom? Stuff too. It's super cute. You're an unicorn. You want it? Yes. You're not getting it. Too bad. Huh? Oh, look, they got kitty ones. Look, oh, kitty cactus. Oh, kitty cactus? Oh, kitty cactus? Oh, my gosh. My mind is blown. Oh, my gosh. So much kitties. So much kitties. Kitty desserts. Because I would have wasted all my energy. Look, Mom's the hamburger and fries. This taco one is too cute. Hey, look, it's Lily. It's Lily with her happy self. I like how there's catnip on it and how that cat looks relaxed. Yeah. What is catnip? Huh? It's a gateway drug. To what? <laughs> it's, a, it's a cat. It's a scratching post. And also, okay, the, now put, that put this on here. And right. when the cat's hit, it like spins. Oh my gosh, Leo would go nuts for that. He would. You know who yeah. else would? Lily. Lily. I just spent all my money on school supplies and a brand new dryer. Yeah, let's, let's just go. Like, did they want Lysol for like the counters or did they want Lysol Pretty air spray? Sure. It's just a can of Lysol. A can of Lysol? A can of Lysol. A can of Lysol. Oh, okay. There's no cans. Um, there are eight no cans. There are. Um, that's furniture yeah. spray. Yeah. Lysol, 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 Lysol. Um, it's like an aerosol can. Oh, here we go. I don't need the type two pack. I just need this one. Max color. God dang. He just are expensive. It's five something. It's five twenty nine. Um, let me just get this one right here, I guess. We'll get that. All right, one. so that was a really quick, fun trip. It was like in and out. It was just um, we had to stay focused, and also I just bought a dryer because our dryer is like about to like die. <laughs> it's like literally. <laughs> I'm scared to run it if I'm not home because <laughs> it might catch on fire. Um, so. Yeah, we just had to stay focused and stuff like that. There's a lot of cool stuff. There's a lot of things that I wanted to get, but I didn't need them. So, but we got all of Josh's school stuff. Um, Mia's school, like I said, um, so some church in the area um, donated, which I thought was very, very, very nice. Some church in Mia's school, or I don't know how it worked, but there was a church and they donated um, all Mia's school supplies for her, including, I think, a backpack. Um, I'm not for sure, and I just called the school to make sure that they had everything, like, for sure that, that everything they needed was going to be in that packet, and Lily was like, yeah, that's what they said, and she was like, I even did it for my daughter because her daughter goes to that school too, and it wasn't, like, based on your income, it was just, like, all you had to do was they sent you a link, you pre-signed up for it, and they, they asked if it was a girl or a boy, and what grade they were going into, and for their student ID, so, like, that, that packet is registered to them, and so then we go pick it up on Saturday. So I, I feel really grateful that we have that opportunity and for the people that are doing that. If I get the name of the church that's doing that, um, I'll definitely like post it somewhere right here. Because I definitely generous. want, yeah, it's very generous. Because they're not, they bought it for the entire school. Like it didn't matter what your income was. Like it didn't matter. Like they got it for everybody. All you had to do was sign up and that's it. So that they, they knew like the student number and all that stuff. So yeah, that helps out so much, like so much. So yeah, we're completely done with our back to school shopping. Um, I like Josh's like. I know people are like, oh, new shoes, new this. 
Um, Josh's shoes are still good. So unless we see like a really good deal on his shoe on shoes, like because um, we had to get some towards the end of the year last year, so his shoes are still in good shape. So we, he doesn't really need shoes. Yeah. He, and I'm not one of those kids that want new shoes all the time. Yeah, he's not one of those kids. We're very lucky that he's not one of those kids that wants new shoes all the time, uh, or like it's a new season or whatever. He has to have new things. Um, and then Mia, she could use some new shoes. Um, so I'll look out to see. She has like cute sandals but she needs a cute pair of tennis shoes that can go with everything though you can't wear those to school yeah. um, but she has like other shoes or whatever but anyways yeah we're gonna figure we're gonna figure it out but I gotta get going because I gotta wax my eyebrows but I hope you enjoyed shopping with us on our back to school shopping supply stuff bye, bye. bye. <laughs> bye. so I just got back from picking up Mia's supplies and I wanted to kind of just show you some footage from it because um, when I talked about it before I didn't really exactly know what it was I just knew that we got this email at the end of the school year and they're like anybody who needs supplies um, just sign up and your child will be provided with supplies so I thought we were just going to go up to the place and pick up our supplies and then our kid would have supplies but it ended up being like this huge event that was just such an amazing thing just to see the community get together and um, not only did they provide like the supplies and backpacks and stuff they also provided like at the very end like they had um, like a food bank or I'm not sure exactly who but someone in, like someone in the community provided food and stuff so they had like lunches there for like families they could have lunch like I think it was like hot dogs and hamburgers that didn't cost anything and then um, there was also um, like they sent everybody home with like produce like carrots and avocados and watermelon and onions and potatoes and stuff like that and I thought that was just really cool that someone donated all that so what it ended up being was I thought it was just one particular church but it wasn't just one particular church it was um, like an entire community like a bunch of churches got together in the community a bunch of businesses got together in the community they all pitched in to be able to provide supplies for students not just in my daughter's school but just within the community and so I think it was just really cool and I wanted to be able to share this with you guys because I think it was just such an amazing gesture and as someone who works in a school system um, I've definitely seen the struggle and felt the struggle of seeing a child who doesn't have school supplies not necessarily because their parents don't want to provide them the school supplies but they just don't have the means to provide them and so for them to be able to have that taken care of it's just amazing it takes a lot of stress off the students it takes a lot of stress off the parents and it takes a lot of stress off the teachers because I can guarantee you a teacher is going to do what she can within her means to be able to provide to make sure that that child has the supplies that they need they are going to do what they can within the community to make sure that their kids or their students have the supplies they have. And so this just kind of takes away from that stress so that they're able to focus on teaching the kids and, um, and tackling on the new year. And so I'm just really grateful for the community that I live in and just all the volunteers that came out. I thought that was amazing. I didn't know exactly what to expect when it came out. I thought we were just going to pick, come up and pick up the stuff. But it ended up being a really big community event. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. But I really wanted to share just that amazingness of a community coming together. Because it just feels really great to be able to live in a place that people do things like that. And so, um, I hope this inspires people to come together as a community as well in your area and do something like this because it's just, it's gonna have such a huge impact. I do this, and I do this. Oh, I'm getting ready. Come through, come through, this fire truck, come through. Hey guys, how's it going? How doing okay? You all right today? But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. 
and I will see you guys in the next one.